Hi everybody, so remember the magic wick? Well, a lot of people have been asking, can the magic wick, here it is, replace this stuff, normal wick? And that's a really good question actually. So, I've got my garden heater out, I'm going to cut some of this and feed it in there. Let's find out. Well, I've got a couple of strips, it went in there easily enough, so let's fill it with paraffin. And let's give it a go. Hmm, no, it won't. Okay, that was disappointing. But what I've done is prepare this because I got some sneaky ideas about how this thing actually works. Okay, now it's prepared. Let's dip it in there and see if we can get it to light this time. Now, because it might be the uh, paraffin that's already in the wick. So let's give that a 20 minutes and make sure that we're burning off the paraffin that might be in the wick and getting to the paraffin in the container. So I've been burning it a good 20 minutes to make sure that it's nothing in the wick that's actually wicking up more material. So in answer to the question, will it work as a direct replacement for a wick? No, it won't. It has its own peculiarities. Now the carbon is without a doubt very good at transmitting the heat. The copper pipe around it also gets hot. So as that copper pipe and carbon are dipping into the oil, what they're doing is they're heating the oil just around the intake. And of course that makes them less viscous and of course then it can wick up. That effect of heating is why we could use vegetable oil. This is paraffin incidentally that I'm using in here. So as a wick, this stuff has its own peculiarities that you're going to have to work with. So putting a copper pipe around it to help keep that heat in and help spread that heat downward might seem like a disadvantage but one of the advantages of it of course is you can use a heavy oil because it's acting a little bit like a preheater. I have to admit I was disappointed that we just couldn't drop it in there because that would have been so cool but if you are going to work with this wick then you need to bear that in mind. Now the first length of copper that I made was far too long. This one seems a brilliant method. So you're going to have to play with the length of your copper pipe. You're going to have to play with the length of your wick. But that wick has its own peculiarities that you're going to have to work with. I hope you enjoyed the video. Because a lot of people were asking, will it be a direct replacement? And the answer is no. But you can use it as long as you work with it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. And please do remember to like and subscribe.